Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kasha for those of you who are new here and today we are going to be doing kind of a little bit of a break from my usual videos and instead we are going to clean and organize and declutter and like refresh Joey's closet. <laughs> Joey is my two-year-old son who's peeking his head in right here but I'm currently in his room and basically today I want to organize his closet. So his closet we also kind of use it as his like play storage area like mini playroom type of thing because we live in a two-bedroom and so it's just just we don't have a lot of room for any of his toys to be elsewhere. <laughs> Come here, Joey. Can you say hi? This is Joey right here. And if this video is a little bit all over the place, it is also because we are going through a little bit of stomach issues today. Right, Joey? <laughs> Come here. Like I was saying, if this video is a little bit all over the place, it's because we are going through a little bit of stomach issues. Joey is having some like constipation. And so we're just kind of trying to navigate that today while also trying to get like things done around the house. But basically we're going to organize Joey's closet and we're going to go ahead and go through all of his toys. Like I was saying, we store most of his toys in his closet just because it's kind of like his play area. <laughs> gonna go ahead and like rotate out his toys because it was his second birthday not too long ago and so he got a bunch of new toys and so I kind of like want to rotate them out and then also organize that better and then I also need to go through like his drawers and everything in his dresser and I'll show you guys all of this before we begin but I want to like rotate out his like spring and summer clothes and do like fall and winter just because it is starting to get chillier outside so we're gonna do all of that and bring out some of his old clothes that still fit him and then I will be going most likely to the store to get him like more long sleeves and things like that and I will be showing you guys all of those things like further down the road and further videos and I will also be doing a video soon on like a Montessori like style gift guide for toddlers and two-year-olds and show you guys his toys in more depth but today we're just going to organize them so I'm super excited to get into it and right now I'm going to show you guys before we start like what it all looks like right now here we have the storage bin I'm going to be using to put like all of the clothes from his dresser that I don't anticipate will fit him anymore next season. And then in here we have a bunch of like Joey's clothes that I like stacked away in here at the beginning of the summer that I anticipated will still fit him this fall and winter. So we have to go through all of that. This is the closet situation. So the reason why we store a lot of his toys in his closet is because the closet runs like the full length of the wall and it's like relatively deep. And so he has enough room to like get through between like the width of the door and where like his toy storage starts. So it's really good. And then right here are where some of his clothes are right now. We have to go through that whole pile. I'm planning on putting his toy kitchen, which I'll show you guys in a little bit right here, or maybe flip the two. I'm not really sure, but his toy kitchen will most likely be going in his closet up here. We also have like some more sensory bins. We have a game that Joe and I play, so we have to like organize all of that. And then over here, we have Mr. Bear. Joey, but I want to go through. Bear. Yes, your bear. I want to go through all of his toys and just like reorganize them, rotate them, make it nicer again so he can use this and it's functional and like take out some of the toys that he got for his birthday and like start incorporating them in his play little area over here. And then over here we just have like his basketball hoop that he got for his first birthday. He doesn't really play with this a whole lot so I think I might put it to my parents house for storage because that's where we store a lot of our things since we don't have a lot of storage. And then right over here is just some pillows that he has which I also have to figure out what to do with it. But I'm excited to organize this. Hopefully we can get it all done. If we don't get it all done before Joey's nap we'll get it done after his nap but I'm gonna start doing it all right now. Here I'm just starting with Joey's shirt drawer and basically my process is going to be taking out all of his shirts and going through all of them and figuring out which ones will still fit him next year, which ones won't, and then also which ones I want to keep in the drawer just in case I want to reach for a short sleeve shirt one day. But then once I'm done putting them into all those different piles, I'm going to go ahead and put in his long sleeve shirts into that drawer. I 
Now I'm about to start and repeat the same exact process but with his pants and basically I'm going to take out all of his shorts and I'm going to go ahead and just leave long pants just because I know that during the fall and winter I won't be reaching for his shorts at all and I don't know why this drawer kept on doing this but it kept on pulling itself in and I was trying to keep it open. Now I just went ahead and took out all of Joey's long sleeve pajamas and I'm going to go ahead and take out the short sleeves out of his drawer and flap the two and you guys will see throughout this that Joey keeps on helping me by putting in all the short sleeves back into the drawer but it's okay I fixed this later and it will feel really good to have long sleeves for the colder nights now. Now I'm just starting to put all the clothes that I think will fit him next season into this basket and the rest of the clothes that I don't think will fit him, I'm going to go ahead and put those into the bin that I bought to store clothes that won't fit him anymore. Joey did get a decent amount of clothes for his birthday so now I'm just gonna go ahead and take off the tags and put them where they go and during this time Joey started talking to me and kept on saying puppy so I went ahead and I'm gonna let you guys listen to some of it because it was so cute. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest, I don't know a single thing that I Now for the toys, I feel like this part was a little bit all over the place because I didn't really know how to tackle the closet and also like capture it really well just because it is a tight space. But basically, I just started by dumping out all of his toys and then I went from there whether I wanted to open up the boxes or put them in the closet and so forth. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time, girl, I know what's bothering me. I need somebody to love. Oh, na 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 na. Don't you see what's wrong with me? I need somebody to love. Oh, oh, na na. I don't. Don't let this fool you, I think you can see it a little bit in my face that this was kind of a challenge just because Joey was right by my feet playing with some of the toys and surprisingly he wasn't really reaching for any of the new toys but he was definitely dumping out some of the old toys so I had to keep looking down and picking and re-picking up his toys but it's okay, we got it done all while avoiding any tantrums so that was good. Keep on driving and driving along the road to never end Lost my head on Vilma's back Between the jars and bottle jug Just me and all the red lights Keep on driving and driving
couple days later and I finished organizing the same day that I started filming this video but then like time got away from me and I still was wanting to finish like more organizing and like better organizing of his toys in the living room so I'll show kind of show you guys the living room situation and I also decided not to put his toy kitchen in his closet for the reason that he likes to use water to play with it yeah. and in his room it's carpet yeah. I just don't want the mess I'm just gonna keep it in the kitchen or not in the kitchen I'm gonna keep the kitchen in the living room show you guys everything and then I also purged some of like his other toys that he just doesn't play with anymore took it over to my mom's house for storage which is good I also organized his closet finished doing that I feel like I didn't get too much footage of that just because it was kind of hard to record it with Joey and also just a tight space so I'm gonna show you guys though the finished product there right now I think it looks so good so much more declutter the only thing I need to get is like bookends and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about because I want to kind of like organize his books a little better just because he doesn't have enough room where most of his books are stored right now but I'm super excited to show you guys to start I'm going to show you guys his dresser and uh, I only basically did a few drawers in here so we have all of his socks and underwear is in here in this drawer I took out all of his short sleeve jammies and I just did all of his long sleeve ones say hi Joey can you close it close it for mama closer your fingers are gonna get smashed this drawer right here i organized and i took out all of his shorts and i just put all of his long pants i'm laughing because i see that there's a sock already in here <laughs> happens with a little toddler okay we don't need it can you close it oh you want to put on your socks okay thank you joey scoop scoop then in this drawer we did no. this side short no. sleeves just in case i want to do a short sleeve shirt like underneath a sweater or something of the sort during the winter this is all of his long sleeves i think i'm going to go ahead and buy him more long sleeves now that i see like how much he has just probably like maybe like five or six more just so i can continue doing laundry every two weeks this looks like a lot but sometimes he does get a little bit messy so i'm gonna go ahead and try to get some more hey joey can you put them back in joey we're all done you want to eat your cranberries Oh, okay. And then in this drawer, hey Joey, beep, 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 beep. This is his shoes. This drawer is not organized because we go in and out of this drawer all the time and we just kind of throw in his shoes, but these are all the shoes that fit him right now. And then, Joey, when you're done, put that back in your drawer. This drawer actually had clothes in it. I didn't show you guys a before of this one, but I went ahead and I put them all in a box and the box is over at my mom's house so now the shore is empty and we have more room for things in there but that is the dresser situation and now joey's closet he's trying to put his shoes on no you're funny his closet clothes situation so we have here like his coats and just warmer but like weather fall -y clothes right here on this side right here we just have some more sets this one i think is still too big for him i have another pair of pants that i also think is too big for him we also have some overalls and just like the rest of his dressier clothes and then extra hangers and then up here i just organized i want to actually get a bin for all of his hats and like winter essentials that are up there so i just threw it all up there but it's nice and organized so that's good easy access and then up there it's just like extra stuff and then extra like little toy animals I believe is in there so that is what it looks like on the outside and then here we also have his sensory bin and a board game that joe and i play it's just gonna stay in here for now because i don't really have anywhere else to put it and i was going to put the kitchen here but i'm just deciding to leave this spot empty and it'll be good for him i think it looks really nice like this let me show you guys the other side of his closet so now over on this side you guys it looks so so much better we did his little tool thing right here and then over here is just like his abc like fish puzzle these are the extra books that don't fit in the other space that he has books but i went ahead and put some of his favorite ones here i just did one peg puzzle i stored the rest away above his other little peg people that he really likes his animals that he also really currently likes and then his car thing from Amazon that he also absolutely loves and plays with this. So I decided to leave those toys out. I originally wanted to do the bookends like up here and then start storing more books up here. I probably will do this over time. Right now it's fine right here, but I still would like to find bookends just to make them stand up really nice. And then up above we have storage of all his, some of his like other toys that I rotated out right now. I want to get a bin for all of these. But right now they're just gonna have to stay up there but we just have some of like his love every toys some more puzzles i stored them away in here these are some of his animals that he doesn't play with his train set his blocks and then over here i went ahead and i stored in 
clothes kind of like how I did last time clothes that I think he might still fit into this upcoming like spring and summer season so we will reevaluate that when we get there and then here we have some of his winter coats that I'm just gonna keep on this side until we actually use them just because they're kind of bulky and I can like rotate more stuff out then in the corner right here we took out his other toy brought it to my mom's house that is a bin of clothes that I don't think he will fit into it's a new bin that I started and it's not full yet so I'm gonna keep it in the closet down there his stuffed animals so this is a perfect cute little space I love it the rest of his toys are in the living room which I'll show you guys but before we go there <laughs> he's eating cranberries I want to show you guys what I was talking about with his books so originally when we started like collecting and organizing all of Joey's books we started to do it right here but now that they all like don't fit anymore in there i don't want to like clutter it and start stacking here i also don't want to start doing a front row just because then we won't be able to see what's behind it and then i feel like we won't be using the books that's where the rest of the books are in here and i really really like it for the living room setup though the kitchen used to be right here moved it so it's just the desk looks so much better and we tucked the kitchen away into this corner and uh, I think it looks really, really good. It's not like super, super cluttered. Those toys that are on the table right now are either stored away in that corner usually or in his, or like in our ottoman in the living room, which we keep a lot of his toys in here too. But it looks really, really good. The kitchen is stored. I still kept my little decoration in the corner. His balls are here. And then some of like his bikes and train, and this is where the vacuum cleaner usually goes that he plays with, is stored like up against the corner of the couch. So you like can't see it when you walk in when it's all tucked away. But I think it looks really, really nice. It just makes more sense to keep the kitchen here since like I said, he likes to play with water with it to like pretend he's cooking. And here it's floor in this carpet. It's not a big deal if he gets wet. So in our TV stand, I also decided to take out some of the toys that were in here i kept his one truck that he sometimes plays with but then over here i decided to put like some of his coloring things and like play-doh and things like that he hasn't used any of the coloring things or play-doh in here it's all new so when i'm ready to like introduce that to him and like do an activity with him i will can just like pull it out and then here it's like his coloring or i don't know what these boards are called but he does play with this one sometimes and this ottoman i feel like you guys have seen this many many times but in here i keep or i'm going to be keeping his picasso tiles since we will be reaching for these often now because he actually really really likes them his other paper and then underneath the picasso tiles we have some of his cars some of his blocks he does sometimes still play with these blocks so i'm not gonna go ahead and take them out just yet you want your tiles okay can i open them for you in a second Thank you, Joey. And then under here, we have some other coloring things, sheets that don't fit, crayons, and then there are a few more, the, I forget what this is called, the counting board. No, I, I, I don't remember off the top of my head. It's okay. That is there. And then some musical toys are right there. But that is it for his, for, I keep calling it his ottoman because it kind of is his ottoman. <laughs> I can't store any like blankets or anything in there because we use it for toys. But that is it for the organization of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you guys are motivated to organize your own kiddos toys and the closet and just tackle any organization in your house, even if your kiddos are there. It's doable. It took a little while. I think the day that we did it, it was like two days ago and it took maybe like three-ish hours to do all of this because I was like running around, getting Joey fed, getting myself fed and just snacks and all the things, but it still turned out really, really good. I'm glad I tackled that. I know that we are having a new Love Every subscription box coming in the mail soon because I saw an email for the shipment and so that will be like more toys to organize and get into the rotation. So I'll show you guys those when they come in of course but the boxes that he's on I think come every four months now or three months. I'm not actually sure. I think every four months are for bigger kids. This is our only second time doing it. It's only his second box because we've only recently subscribed to it. I was getting some of their like single toys from Target that they sell but then as I've purchased most of them that I I can or that like he will play with for his age I just decided to do it because he actually really enjoys the toys and I told myself that now it was his birthday so we purchased him some toys ourselves we also were gifted a lot but we're not gonna do any more toys Oop! it's okay I lost my train of thought oh I think I was saying oh yes the love every boxes it's not a necessity if your kiddo really enjoys playing with toys like that which joey really does i think they're a really great educational thing you can buy ones at target but i decided that the boxes are going to be like most of the only toys that we're buying him because 
it comes with a few toys. They don't need a lot of toys. He doesn't always play with every single toy that he has, you know what I mean? Like, kids don't need a huge amount of toys. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! A new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time. Just enjoy the ride.